everybody, I'm Julian Jamar, and this is another Reviews of the Nerds. Dune 2 is still in theaters. The Dune franchise caters to the nerdiest side of all sci-fi nerd culture. So if you've been sitting around thinking, what I really long for is another three-hour movie about the Dune world, but without Jason Momoa and more Zendaya, you are in luck. If you also thought the franchise really needed an extra villain, but even more disgusting and a little bit cannibalistic, jackpot, you'll love this one. I actually liked it, really liked it a lot, because I played a lot of chess growing up and can recite the first three Star Wars movies by heart, and used to program things in DOS and GW Basic. All the way deep abiding nerd. I am Bob Newby, but cuter. I love the storyline that delved into the mother's story. Her arc is fascinating. It's also not difficult to watch Timothy Chalamet for three hours in various states of fighting wars, finding himself falling in love, riding sandworms, and then leading an impossible revolution to save the spice world. I think that's what they did in the end. The storyline is a touch hard to follow and I haven't read the book. I was just there for the glorious sandy scenery, gladiator fights, and epic battles where stuff gets blown to bits. There were a couple of cons, I would say, once again, it's the gross villains I cannot deal with. The same gross guy from the last time is back, and they added more, and it's even worse. Sorry, I just hate it. Also, no Jason Momoa. Did I mention that? Big time con. Anyway, a new cast of characters joins some of the older cast. I feel like they set it up for even another movie, maybe? It's pretty fun, and I recommend it for all sci-fi nerds. You'll love it. Once again, I'm Julian Jamar. You can catch all my movie reviews on julianjamar.com, as well as all the epic fantasies that I write. I have another being published on March 27th. This has been another Reviews of the Nerds.